Hey makers, this is Thruveen and you are watching third episode of Power Apps Step by Step tutorial series. In this episode, let's talk about how we can create Microsoft 365 developer account. If you are new in the learning of Power Apps, then you need Microsoft 365 developer account in order to start the development process. Now, first of all, let me talk about what is developer program. Basically, when you sign up for Microsoft 365, it is giving you 30 day trial. After 30 day, you need to purchase the things. But the developer program provide you the flexibility of 90 days validity. After every 90 days, Microsoft automatically renew the account based on your usage. So developer account provide you a flexibility to learning for a long time. So I recommend to register for this account. Now let me show you the steps involved to register yourself for Microsoft 365 developer program. So the link is available in the description box. You need to open it up and click on join now. Once you click on it, it is asking you to sign in. Over here, you need to provide any Outlook or live account. So let me enter my account over here. So this is one of the Outlook account I do have. So I just entered it and click on next. Enter the password and sign in. It is opening the form like this, where you need to enter your country, company and language preference. So over here I have provided the country as United States, company as DSHA 30 and language preference as English. Depending on your country region, you can provide anything and click on next. Now it is showing you what is the primary focus for you as a developer. So I'm just selecting personal projects and then you need to select what are the development area you are interested in. So I am mostly interested in Power Platform, SharePoint Framework, Microsoft Teams and Outlook. So let's save it and it is showing you an no option to set up your Microsoft 365 E5 sandbox and you can see here the availability as 90 days. So there are two options. Instant Sandbox and Configurable Sandbox. The Instant Sandbox is something which is automatically create 16 fictitious user Microsoft Team Sample Data Pack with App Studio and custom apps pre-configured and data for Microsoft Graph, SharePoint and Office ID. Now, I don't need Instant Sandbox. I want to configure user by myself. So I'm just using Configurable Sandbox. And now let's click on Next. Now again, you need to create your username, create your domain, enter your password and done. So let me just provide my username as Thruvinsha and let's just create domain. So I'm just providing my company name as Disha30 and it is creating an account like this Thruvinsha at Disha30 at on Microsoft.com. All right. So you can just copy that for your future reference. You can just enter your password. Enter the password based on your choice and click on continue. Enter your phone number and click on send code. Enter the code that you received in your mobile and click on setup. Your, it is setting up your subscription and here we are your Microsoft 365 developer subscription is being ready. Now you can use this email address. This is your domain and username we already stored in one of the notepad. So we need to log in with that account. So now let's click on go to subscription. So this is the email address. Always store that for your upcoming login. Login with your password and hit sign in and here we are we are ready with our account so this is something which is looking like this now you just simply need to click on assign product and basically it is taking some time in order to appear all the apps for you you can just go to the active user and this is my user with the global administrator right Let's go to the licenses and apps and let's see what type of licenses is being assigned. It is assigned with E5 licensing, which is great. 
and most probably in couple of minute it will be available now let me create one more user over here for my manager so i have created one user named krupal shah who is my manager and now let me just click on next and let me assign him e5 license as well click on next next and let me just provide the normal privileges and click on finish adding this account going forward we are going to use in our upcoming videos so just keep in mind yeah so we are all good click on close so so far we created two different user depending on your need you can create multiple users as well so after this video i am going to create couple of more users as well for our testing purpose and as always if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me and if you are looking for any consultation just register on my website and don't forget to follow me on my instagram and twitter so see you in the next video